Welcome back to Mega Man X, and we are going to be taking on the last of the eight initial bosses and going after Sting Chameleon. He is not particularly difficult, it's just he happens to be last in the weakness order that I take, so there's nothing that I desperately need from his stage. The only thing you do want to make sure you do is take him on after uh, Launch Octopus, because otherwise... Uh, you will have trouble, a lot more trouble, getting one of the items in this stage. Um, so first I'm gonna go downwards, and because we beat Launch Octopus, this is now filled with water. If we didn't beat Launch Octopus, there wouldn't be water here. But that's going to make it so that we can make a longer jump to get to this heart tank. You technically, I think, can get that without the water if you use Chill Penguin's weapon, but it's a lot harder. Next, instead of going through the cave, I'm going to go up here and enjoy watching watch me fight this mini-boss for the next five minutes because it's going to take forever. This is not a particularly difficult mini-boss, it just takes a long time because you have to hit it like 500 times to finally kill it. And it's only vulnerable in its head, unless its arms are out. Its arms are, like, protecting its body. So I'm gonna play a little risky and keep jumping over its hook hand like this to get extra hits in. But yeah, this, this boss was always a pain in the ass, just because he takes so long. The reward is definitely worth it, though. He gives you, uh, a great, great item for beating him. <sighs> Unfortunately, there's not a lot that can be done to speed this up. I've tried various special weapons. I've tried Storm Tornado. I've tried Fire Wave. I, nothing really helps. He's just got a ton of health. If he were to grab me, he would then proceed to fling me into the wall, but I'm going to try not to let him do that. He can also uh, grab onto the wall if he's close enough and, like, drag himself toward it, but this is not a difficult mini-boss. This is very tedious. That's making my hands hurt. <laughs> the more he- obviously, the more he smokes, the more damage he's taken. There we go. Whee! That's my favorite trick. It's completely pointless, but it's visually pleasing. From this capsule, we are going to get the body armor upgrade, which is literally going to have the damage that is taken. So it's a great upgrade to get. If anything, if you're having trouble with the game, swinging by this stage just to get this upgrade is definitely worth it, even if you can't complete the rest of the stage. The screen doesn't scroll right away. I don't know why. It's very silly. Come on. There you go. It also uh, stops the rocks from falling. Beating that mini-boss stops the rocks from falling in this cave, except for those things, obviously. I'm trying to be fancy with dodging around these, and it's not really working. <laughs> but I've got the body armor upgrade now, so I don't really care. Normally, if you don't beat that mini-boss, then there's also smaller rocks falling from the ceiling, but it's nice to not have to deal with those. Take this free extra life, though. I'm gonna get in another right armor here just to make things go a little faster through this section. It's free, I may as well. I also remember as a kid it was funny because I had a point where I didn't know how to get out of the right armor, and uh, I was stuck in it for like 10 minutes trying to figure out how to jump out of the stupid thing. It wasn't in the instruction manual. Actually, I don't think my copy of the game had an instruction manual because it was sort of borrowed slash stolen slash given by one of my brother's friends, so. This guy's really easy with his weakness and really annoying without it. He'll do a lot of teleporting and vanishing and being invincible without his weakness, but with it I'm just gonna pretty much lock him, or stun lock him, rather. As long as I don't screw up the timing or accidentally let him land on me, I'll just keep him in a loop. The 
the only thing to be careful of with this strategy is to make sure you are moving far enough to the side each time he falls that he's not landing on you. But yeah, that's that's Stick Chameleon. He's a complete pain to fight without his weakness, but we're just... I'm not even gonna bother. Why make the game more difficult on myself unless I'm trying to do a challenge run? And that makes the last Maverick. He is going to give us the Chameleon Sting, which is not an extraordinarily... Much like the Rolling Shield, it's not super useful just as a straight-up firing weapon. But if you charge it up, it'll give you a good, like, probably 10 seconds or so of full invincibility. So that's going to be super useful. And apparently we found the fortress that Zero was doing recon on all this time. So uh, it's time to storm the castle. Except not yet, because I need stuff first. This is the time when I'm going to go through and do the cleanup on all the items that I didn't get. Just because I didn't happen to have the right weapons to get them at the time. So first of all... I'm gonna go back through just the beginning of this stage. It's real close by. Uh, go down instead of up. And there's a sub-tank hidden behind this wall. I couldn't reach it before, but... I can scoop it up with the boomerang cutter, and that makes all four sub-tanks. I already have all four armor parts, so the only other thing that I'm missing is one heart tank, which, unfortunately, <sighs> I have to go through back through a giant chunk of uh, Chill Penguin stage to get, because it's like halfway through the stage and you need Flame Mammoth's weapon to get it. Kind of an annoying thing they did. So you have to beat, or you have to get the dash boots from Chill Penguin stage in order to get the upgrades, both of the upgrades in, f or at least two of the upgrades rather, uh, the sub-tank and the buster upgrade in Flame Mammoth stage. But you need Flame Mammoth's weapon to get the heart tank in Chill Penguin stage. So that's kind of BS. It's a bit unfortunate that it's kind of a force to revisit, but we have the dash upgrade now at least, so it's going to take much less time to get through the level. At least I can enjoy the music. Using that double damage trick to get rid of these things just a little faster. Hey, free life. I'll take that. That's actually... How many lives do I have? I have six lives, which is good, because I'm going to need a whole bunch of them to get the last item in the game, which is not this one. But the only way to melt this igloo is with the fire wave, and there's a heart tank in it. So we're now almost fully upgraded. There's one more thing that I need to go back and get, and it's in Armored Armadillo stage. So this is going to be a while, so I will uh, see you when this becomes relevant again. I'm going to go ahead and fill up my sub tanks and then get all the way back to the end of this stage. Fun thing I forgot to mention, this bat is designed after the bats from the classic series. It is the only one like it in the game, and if it would behave, it actually has... <laughs> It's trying to prove me wrong right now, but it actually has a much higher chance of dropping a 1-up. I think it's probably like a 50-60% to 60 chance. So if you ever need extra lives, even though it is not behaving right now. It just doesn't want me to look good, does it? Oh my god. Usually it drops extra lives way more frequently. There we go. If you ever need extra lives, this is a great place to get them. Great. Okay, now I'll see you at the end of the stage. Alright, now that I am at least close to the end of the stage, if you remember that platform above the boss door that I jumped at earlier, uh, that had... Oh, whatever, it's close enough. This platform here, 
Um, basically, I need to... I think I just need to see this particular spot four or five times. And then on the fifth or sixth time, something cool will happen. So I'm just gonna dive off the cliff. Rip X. And do that several more times, which is a very silly way of going about things. Um, I think the PSP remake, Maverick Hunter X, actually made this a little different. Instead of having to visit this particular spot five times with all of the upgrades, in order to have this happen, you have to have all of the upgrades in the game and have full health. In order, in the PSP remake, they actually changed it, so instead of visiting it five times, you had to get through the entire stage with all of the upgrades without getting hit once. Which wasn't too bad because uh, you could pretty much just, if you had the charged up rolling shield, you could just turn on the rolling shield and never get touched by anything. But it was interesting the way they kind of changed it. I guess to make it less tedious, but also make it more difficult in a sense. But yeah, I just have to do this like two or three more times, so I will cut to when we actually have successfully done that. Alright, we have successfully proven ourselves good at cliff diving, and now there is an extra Dr. Light capsule here. And yes, he is actually wearing the outfit, or er, Ryu's outfit from Street Fighter. Of course, this is, Street Fighter is also a Capcom title, so they threw in a little extra Easter egg. How anyone was supposed to figure this out as a kid without a guide, I have no idea, considering this game was back before the internet existed. But we get the Hadouken. As long as you are at full health, you can use it, and it will kill every boss in one hit. And the controls for it, as far as I- as- at least as much as I know about Street Fighter, are the exact same as in Street Fighter, just down, forward, and fire. The only thing to be careful of is not to fire too fast. If you hit fire before you hit forward, then you will, uh, actually fire a stray shot. And that stray shot will hit the boss, cause them to have invincibility frames, and then the Hadouken won't work, which is annoying, and I do it a lot. But since that took so long, we are going to visit Sigma's castle in the next episode. And uh, we're gonna that's gonna be the final four stages of the game. So it's gonna start getting the difficulty's gonna ramp up significantly. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you back again soon.